For this speech, I'm going to focus on eye contact and dramatic interpretation. So you're going to look for how many times, how often I'm looking at the audience and what directions I'm looking at them. And secondly, my tone, how I sound, my mood, and how I pause and when I pause, and what words I emphasize. Have you ever received an email in which you didn't know who it was from until the very end? Or there wasn't even a name at the very end and you had to look at their email address to know who it was from? I know for me that happens a lot. One way we can fix this problem is by writing in a correct email. Today I'm going to teach you how to write an email in three simple steps. Step number one. Make sure you're emailing the right person. Check your two box and make sure the right person is inputted there. Now, the reason I say that is because there are multiple times that I would uh, receive an email from a student on the high school campus and it was because that person forgot uh, to check who uh, she was writing to and so she sent me an email which was meant for a different teacher. So number one, make sure you check who you're emailing. The second step, is to make sure uh, you put a greeting at the beginning with that person's name. For example, if you're emailing me, you could type in, hi, Mr. Han. Good afternoon, Mr. Han. Aloha, Mr. Han. A greeting makes it personal, is polite, right? We've all had friends, uh, maybe you haven't seen them in a while, and they come up to you, I'll, and, and instead of saying hi, instead they'll say, oh, do you have two bucks I can borrow? Right, and you feel uh, hurt because instead of greeting you, they just asked you for something. And so it's important to greet the person you're emailing. The third step is to make sure that you have a farewell at the end. And whether it be sincerely and then put your name, or uh, you could say, I'll see you tomorrow, and then put your name. But make sure you include your name. The reason why is, uh, that way, the person receiving your email, if they're unfamiliar with the, your, your address, they know who is emailing, uh, emailing them. So again, the three steps, very simple. Check to make sure you're emailing the right person. Number two, put a greeting. Number two, put a farewell with your name. And that is how you can write an email that is polite, that is appreciated, and one that won't offend uh, the recipient of your email.